create a bhdl file which is uh, completely equivalent to this design of circuit we have done in the last video tutorial okay from the file menu click on new and uh, under design files click on the HDL file okay it's the place that we should write our um, VHDL code and then compile our, co our code for each VHDL program we usually use some libraries which contains definitions and functions we use in our program for example um, one of the most important things that we are using uh, in our uh, programming is standard logic which is defined the package IEEE logic IEEE um, standard logic 11.64 and uh, uh, it, it is in the I IEEE library then we start uh, writing a comment about uh, the program we should uh, two um, hyphen is two hyphen is uh, used to start commenting something my first pro bh -L program okay as I told we should use I triple e library uh, you should know that uh, VHDL language is case insensitive. It means that when I write library, you, you see that it changed the the, uh, the color. It doesn't matter that you use uh, library or library with capital L. All of them are the same because VHDL is case insensitive. I prefer to use uh, lower cases library I triple E and then as I mentioned we should use I triple E standard logic uh, 1164 dot all the all means um, it use all the IEEE standard logic uh, 1164 package everything that inside this package then um, in every uh, uh, in every HDL uh, programs you see some lines like this or more um, libraries that you may use in your program now uh, we are going to uh, see the entity declaration VHDL uh, used two major parts one of them is entity and another one is um, architecture the entity declaration defines the name of the entity and lists the input and output ports in entity section actually we uh, declare these ports which are input ports and output ports we just describe our um, design as some black box which inputs and outputs and in architecture we actually describe the things that are done here the processes the combinational functions everything else then uh, we start uh, our entity by entity keyboard entity and then use a name for our entity my funk I use my funk as my entity name then after the name you should write is and in the next line we start defining port which are inputs and outputs as you see we have uh, three inputs then we write 
x1, x2, x3 as input by the keyboard in which is standard logic and uh, we have f as output and write which is out and it's standard logic too we should not uh, actually write this semicolon, uh, semicolon at the end of this line you uh, should be aware of that and then we can we, we just describe the everything we needed for our uh, input that output an output declaration and the semicolon at the end is enough and after that we should write end my func which is my entity name okay this is just for declaration of inputs and outputs now in architecture section we describe the behavior of the system or design in this section we start uh, writing the keyboard architecture then we should uh, write a name for the architecture we, but that I use behavior because we are describing the behavior of system of uh, the entity my func my func is and now again start by begin we should uh, we know that the function here is x and x1 and x2 or uh, x not of x2 and x3 is simply written in this way f left arrow x1 and x2 or not x2 and x3 as I told before the function is f equals two dashes means comment then compiler ignores everything that in front of two comments two uh, dashes okay then f is x1 and x2 or not of x2 and x3 we just describe this function in this way in VHDL and uh, the last thing we should write is end end behavior okay the program is now completely done we can compile the, the program to see the results but first we should save our VHDL file an important fact an important uh, note that is here that is that the name of the VHDL file should be the name of entity if you don't use this entity name as VHDL file you will have lots of compilation error then be aware that you should use this name as your VHDL file name then file save and use this name my file and save your VHDL file